Jordan trying to shake off Starks. Oh, what a move by Jordan! LeBron James with no regard for human life! Final seconds. Bryant for the win. Oh, what a shot! Oh, what a shot! Oh, what a shot! Against Gill, the crowd on its feet. Allen for the win! Welcome to the Sneaker History Podcast. Welcome, listeners. So happy to have you back to start off 2023. Welcome to a fantastic New Year episode of Sneaker History. I'm Robbie. He's Mike. Same old guy as this 2022. <laughs> Let's be honest. Nothing's changed. How you doing, though? Man, I'm doing good. You know, just... Try not to throw my computer out the window. Just a little behind the scenes. This is the second time we're doing this because I, uh, I faltered the first time. But we do it for the love of the game, so we're here again. Run it back is a positive thing, too. <laughs> Don't ever get that confused. Um, you know, we're going to keep it pretty light, pretty fun this episode. We're going to skip rocking and copping and go right into a little retrospective of the last quarter of 2022. We each have five pairs of shoes. That were our favorite pickups at the end of the year. So we we you know thought we'd start off the new year by looking back. Um, I'm horrible at going and looking at what I bought in the year. Out of sight, out of mind. It's just no. I disassociate if I don't think about it. Um, but the last couple months, um, I did have some really fun pickups. I'm going to start off with one of my favorites, um, the Polarizing Air Max 97. I picked these up in silver bullet and Atlantic blue, which is this color. Um, I think they're comfortable. I think they're fun. I love them, man. It's just a really clean, easy pair of Air Maxes to wear in almost any situation. Are you a fan of 97s? Oh, yeah, dude. Love the 97. One of my favorite Air Maxes. Uh, sometimes, you know, they can get a little uncomfortable depending on, I guess, the material you get one made out of. But, um, no, it's a solid shoe. I think everyone should have at least one, especially one of the classics in the collection. I think it's also one of those shoes. Even if it's even a new colorway, just go buy a pair of ninety sevens and add that to the add that to your lineup. Yeah. So, definitely. what's your first favorite shoe of last year's quarter? <laughs> My I said first that so stupidly. <laughs> Double F, little alliteration. Um, so mine's gonna be the Denver Nuggets question PE. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Just such a clean colorway, man. I mean, I know baby blue is probably something you saw more of the early 2000s when we were still like in middle school, but you can't beat it, man. This just brings me back, just the colorway, uh, and knowing that they never released it before. Just something really cool. Uh, definitely one of my favorites that that released and I was able to get. So shout out to the Reebok team for this one. That was one of my favorites too. It was hey. just too far. I couldn't reach it. Um, I love that shoe. <laughs> like, ah. I love that shoe. It's a great. It's a great colorway, like you were saying, baby blue. I think of older times, but it never stops looking good, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Classic, man. So this is kind of redundant because we did do a 2022 wrap-up of like things we want to see, come, go, stuff like that. Um, and I showed these off there. Um, you know, We had the South 2, West 8, on runnings. I've been wearing them enough to where anybody who owns a pair of ons knows this issue of just like things – Getting stuck in this tread. <laughs> um, I bring everything with me uh, when I wear these. Um, these are great. Um, I love the kind of... I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. And mm -hmm. uh, these kind of give me like Horizon vibes. Because, you know, Aloy shoots arrows and stuff. Um, and there's hunting little animals. This also, um, coincidentally, if you ever buy All Saints, um, it kind of looks like the All Saints logo. I know it's not. But I'm curious what South 2, West 8... Um, had in mind with these uh, these arrows and kind of skull reindeer, but uh, clean, simple. I think they're not that simple. They're kind of weird, but uh, I think that's that's part of the. What do you think? Are, are these are these simple or are these a, a little out there? I think it's for what we see. Besides the print, everything else is pretty simple on it. I mean, it. it it serves a purpose. I heard those are like really nice, just being on your feet. So one of my missions of this year is actually to get a pair of cloud monsters. Probably by the time I get a pair to be a cloud monster too. But uh, I'm I'm pretty curious about the shoes, especially seeing you wear them all the time. You cannot go wrong. They they hold your foot like this tortilla blanket. Just holds you and wraps you up all tight. Um, <laughs> what's your number two? Yeah, and you know what? I think I'm going to have some redundant, redundancy in my picks as well from my last episode, but I can't help what my favorites are. But right. it's going to be the Ultra Boost 1.0 uh, 
retro of the cream or chalk, whatever color you want to call it. This is all-time Ultra Boost. I think all-time sneaker. Goes with everything. Um, I went out of town a few weeks ago with some, some of my college buddies and literally wore this the entire trip. Fantastic. I mean, this is just one of those shoes you can just live in, basically. Did you pay $200 for that? No. No, not at all, actually. Um, I got it under retail, actually. I can't remember the exact call. So I got them off GOAT. They were already under retail, but they ended up having some credit. So I ended up getting them for even cheaper. I think I honestly spent probably like 20 bucks total. But I got – they were, I think, 140 150 maybe before I had my credit on it. I ask because I was on Adidas app earlier mm-hmm. prior to recording and they had a ton of core 1.0 ultra boost and they mm-hmm. wanted $200. Yeah. They're supposed to be and coming like, back bro. out with a lot of them now, but you know, just probably for another day in the episode, but I think with the transition of the Yeezy not being the Yeezy anymore, I think they're going to start pushing a 1.0 again just to kind of reclaim some of that fire. But, um, yeah, 200 bucks is way too much. I would not buy this for $200, not at all. Not at all. And I love, like, I've gone through myself, I think, three or four pairs of, uh, of V1 Ultra Boost. And they're great, but yep. $200 at this point is the same deep. reason why we have grapes. I mean, I mean, to keep that same energy, the Air Max 97's 180. So it's all kind of whack um, with these <laughs> other products. Um, <laughs> I mean, speaking of this, I mean, pricing in general was something in 2022 we really probably all felt a lot of. Um, the 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 shoe hey. of Robbie's life of, in 2022, uh, the DJ Schmal- the DJ salads because they're getting uh, tossed on the bottom. <laughs> um, I wear these, dude. I always take the the lace lock off. So I'm not a big lace lock guy. Oh, it's so dumb but, to uh, have on a shoe. I, I like your choice. I love these. I mean, not to beat a dead horse, but the materials are super fun. I don't even see the DJ Khaled branding like 99% of the time. I mean, yeah, you see you know. Jordan 5. Um, <laughs> but, you know, little kid me, I, I brought this up many times over the year. If you would have told little kid me, I would have like a salmon pink and aqua Jordan 5 that wasn't a bootleg. I would have said you're bugging. Um, <laughs> but here we are and life is great. Yeah, I, I mean that, bro. There's so yeah. many shoes where it's just like I never thought I would have had a Jordan or a LeBron or you know any retro product in colorway X. So I, oh I yeah, love it. I mean that's funny you say that. Cause I think a lot of things we look at now that release. I mean LV Air Force One, for example, that was a barbershop bootleg that you know kids had in middle school, and the fact that mm-hmm. those things are like real life, legitimate product now is is crazy to see how what 20 years does right. It's like build a player. Like I didn't <laughs> think this was real. Why is this so real? Well, uh, first of all, that shoe, the more and more I see it on you, Robbie, the more and more I want to buy it, especially because it is under retail. I've heard not only from you, but from everyone who's talked about that shoe, quality is immaculate on it. I mean, if you see me pick one up this year, just call me a flip-flopper because I didn't like it at first, but God dang it. Another one. Another one. They got me again. <laughs> but my next pickup is going to stay in the Jordan family, but it's going to be the Union Jordan 2 and that rattan colorway. Um, wasn't a huge Jordan 2 fan to start with. I won't lie to you guys. Like, I've been on twos forever. I wasn't. I just got curious, honestly. And this one, again, was one of those uh, – I think it was a product of pricing because I think these are like 250 retail, and they sat around and went sub 200. I think these, when I picked them up, were – what close to 150 and this is a spectacular shoe like i can't even i i can't even give a lie and say oh it's just a jordan 2 now i don't know if any other one's going to be like this but with the mixture materials uh just the the depth they put on the shoe the change up of a few things like the extra tag here union did a fantastic job and deconstructed tongue leather guts and inside it's just such a nice shoe and it fits so well so no matter, you know, it may not be the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it is just overall a cool shoe, which is what I think sneaker collectors, sneaker heads like is something cool. Man, don't sell yourself short. That's a beautiful shoe. That's 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 pretty. That's pretty. Reason I that's say it's not because if you look down, it looks like you got duck bills on your feet. <laughs> I can see it. Um, <laughs> but other than that, I, I love it. Back in the day, I had the Chrome 2s and I had the, mm-hmm. the not Varsity Red, the other... Jordan 2 colorway from at 2015. 
And I just don't like twos, man. Like I was at Bait Seattle and they had my size in the varsity red um twos that retro that morning or the day yeah. before. And I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Like I don't they're great though. They're, they're, yeah. For everybody else who wants them, fantastic. Just not my cup of tea. For um, sure. I mean speaking of cups of tea, I'm debating which one I'm gonna do last. <laughs> Let's do this one because this is definitely not everyone's cup of tea. Um I was at Foot Locker actually this past weekend. And um, I saw more Ron English Croc stuff. And if you're willing to go a little crazy, just go balls deep. Try a pair of these, please. The Ron English stuff with Crocs, um, Foot Locker exclusive, is it's 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 freaking out there, man. And like these in particular, and the other um, mule shaped Croc ones, mm-hmm. like with the sport mode heel, also have fuzzy on the inside. And they just feel so good. They're fun. They look really cool with black socks or white socks. Um, I've been obsessed with these. These have been out by my, by my bed where I just like slide them on. Um, too much. Like I, I wear these a lot. <laughs> so much so that I'm realizing I had them on when I did the Christmas tree um, removal. And I have pieces of christmas tree <laughs> yeah like embedded. tinsel in your shoe now <laughs> and also kind of you know i always wanted the gibson sb dunk uh-huh when i was a little kid the brown yeah. and fuzzy pink yeah yeah it's, it's probably the closest i'm getting for a while so <laughs> the ron english croc by Foot Locker. go buy any of them they're they're fun man they're just fun i, I love them <laughs> Yeah, dude. No, that's uh, I think a bit out of my realm, but I think it's really cool. I like the difference in it. Uh, I'm not a big sandal guy so much, but I, I like how it is just kind of out there and just it's not your normal. Bro, sandal, you're out so. here hooping. You're out here in the D roses, you know, in and off the court. You know how easy this is to get on. You know. No, that's why I wear my crazy uh, Converse, those big uh, moon crater slip on things that I got. The uh, God dang it. Uh, a cold wall, those big uh, dinosaur about. shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, those things are awesome, but oh, I should have pulled those out. That would have been one of my favorite pickups, and they're deep in the closet because I just throw them on and throw them off. Um, the crater dinosaur is a great way to describe that shoe. That is the only way to describe it because I guarantee everyone knew exactly what I was talking about, and if they didn't, they looked it up. They're like, holy crap, you're right. <laughs> it's, it's a crater shoe. So now, what you got here is your second to last. Second to last was actually a Christmas present. Uh, parents grab me these these are the air max one hangul day which is the uh celebration of the creation of the korean alphabet these are so nice uh and now you know and now you know yes yeah, so one of those hey uh knowledge is power uh, <laughs> dude the leather on this is spectacular suede on it uh everything about this shoe just is quality and i was talking um to you guys uh who are on instagram i know my shanghai soul uh friend of the show jay uh, this I think this is better than the Pata off um, Pata all white that they just came out with, just pure quality reasons, and it's just so many different pieces, almost like a patchwork done to it, and it has cool little bungees so you can just slip it on. You can switch it to regular love laces, that. but why do that if you can just throw them on? I do love the random assortment of beautiful Air Maxes that released this year. I mean. So good. A lot of different models just have very interesting stories on them, um, unique, undertold. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Well, duh, I knew there was a Korean alphabet, but I didn't know there was a day celebrating the Korean alphabet. That's wild. I didn't either. And uh, just to top it off, they actually, if you remember the Japanese denim Jordan 3 where they put the Japanese branding under the Jordan Hill Cup, they flipped it mm-hmm. by putting the Nike Air and putting the Korean Nike branding on top, which you can barely see probably in this camera. Mind blown. But no, those really are, I mean... Now that I know they exist, I kind of want a pair. They're they're super clean. That's a fantastic out. looking. That's what I call like a a grown man shoe. <laughs> You've done the normal Air Maxes. Now you're on the Korean Alphabet Advanced Quick Lacing Premium the, Material. The gourmet pair. <laughs> so I mean, speaking of this oh, gourmet stuff, so my last one, you you kind of did influence me to try my first pair of Asics. It's part seeing you. This wax poetic about Asics and Saucony all the time now. It's like, all right. Um, but once you, but once Ronnie Feig tells me to do something, I'm like, all right. God, Ronnie said do it. So, uh, <laughs> it's like law at that point. <laughs> time to do it. So um, these are called the the EX or CX EX, EX. Or CX EX, EX. EX eighty nine. Yeah. 
Uh, and it's uh, did a little a little bit of research. It's a throwback 1980s basketball shoe. Um, Kayano, the designer, Kayano, coincidentally also did the Kayano line, um, designed these. Fun little heel clip. It has some like modern sensibilities, which from Asics.com makes me think that they want you to be delusional enough to think that you could actually hoop in these now. <laughs> I don't know why you would, but like they were, they were really talking about how this is a retro basketball shoe with modern tech. And I'm like, all right, I, I hear you, Asics.com. I'm not going to use it that way, but uh, I hear it. Uh, really clean uh, Kith branding here. Oh, can I get it coming through? Yep. Really clean nice. Kith branding on the tongue. Um, says Kith on the inside. Um, New York Knicks. That's where the home of Kith resigns. Um, yeah, Ronnie's also the creative director of the Knicks now. So having the white, blue, and orange really works. But these are just butter, man. Like you're, Mike wasn't wrong um, in his uh, poetic waxing of how good the materials are. But they feel fantastic. I've only put them on around the house. But this was the literal last pickup. They came um, on the 31st. So the last, nice. the last pair of shoes I got in 2022. And uh, I love them. Yeah, yeah that's, they're, they're great. That's dope. I've been looking at that pair. Um, no, not that particular colorway, but that that model. They've been pushing them on Asics uh, website now. And there is a uh, kind of a Laker color one, but then there's also this kind of green with the vintage midsole. Um, very on my radar for this year. So don't be surprised if uh You know, no, I, I'm happy you brought that up. So I saw that Laker pair and there's three they had available. Mm-hmm. Um, and And – Maybe it's just the photos, but they definitely didn't look as good as this pair. Oh, they like won't a, be in the material department. Yeah, they no, they won't be. What what they do with Kith is just like ridiculous, especially with that pair. We're gonna get some more um collaborations on that shoe. That's gonna be, I think, being pushed pretty hard this year. So I'm gonna definitely keep an eye out because I know there are gonna be some things out there uh with don't different sleep. brands to Yeah, don't sleep on it. <laughs> but I like the model, man. I look especially like that one. Me too. Big fan. And uh, they have other laces. Um, laces are fun. I might I might make them blue. Who knows? Um, well, all right. What, what's your final? It doesn't have to be your your chronological final pick of 2022. <laughs> but uh, what's your last one of the Q4 roundup? Well, to be fair, it is my last chronological pickup of 2022. Uh, look at that. I actually... Whatever the Thursday was, I'm trying to look at a calendar, but I can't see one. Uh, whatever the Thursday was before New Year's, I actually ordered these. Uh, just got them in hand. And speaking of fun laces and Saucony, we have the Maybe Tomorrow Ooh. collaboration with Saucony and the Better Together, where they really are telling, are retelling these Aesop fables, the tortoise and the hare. This one is the hair colorway, which just so happens to coincide with the Year of the Rabbit. And this thing is just awesome, man. You got fuzzy laces here you have other laces as well but you got to do the fuzzy laces uh you're gonna have some faux rabbit hair on the saucony branding on the heel you have this nice nice pigskin suede along with this really nice buddy leather on the toe box i mean everything you can want in a sneaker is on this shoe plus it glows in the dark and outsole so really just this is it's only january and it came technically it came on december 30th the one that's had them early so i grabbed them from there and um, again, kind of early, to, really early to be saying this, but this has to be in the top ten sneakers of release of this year already, and I'm going to stick with that. That's a bold proclamation that I don't agree with, but man, I'm happy you like them. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for these for a while. They came out of Complex Con when you were there, but they didn't come out on the uh, to the general public until a couple of weeks or so ago. There's a pair of Club C's I didn't buy at Complex Con, and they literally haunt my haunt me. I want the <laughs> fucking Club C's. Um, anywho, that was our sub 20 minute 2022. What other numbers can I put in there? I can't think of anything else like <laughs> for 2023. <laughs> yeah. For 2023, um, EX 89, Air Max 97, Air Max. It said that, that a one or a 90. It's a one. It's a one question. One technically, Jordan two, <laughs> Jordan, Jordan, two five. Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> this has been Sesame Street with Mike and Robbie. The one, <laughs> one, two. <laughs> <laughs> but um, listeners, go back. Start from 
what's it? Se- the quarter will be September. Um, October. Uh, October, November, December. Yeah. Um, go back and look at what you bought in those three months. Maybe you don't need a new pair of shoes the first week of January when you go back and think about it. That was my <laughs> first really? reaction to today's pre-work. It was like, bro, you don't need anything this first week. And guess what? I bought two pairs of shoes already in 2023. So I was like, nah. Can't stop me. <laughs> Can't stop myself. Adidas <laughs> having a crazy deal, man. And then I'll show the other pair when, when the time comes. But man, slow down. Looking into the mirror. Slow down, bro. You slow down too. We all need to slow down. Mike, slow down. I'm trying, but there's everybody a but Uncle Phil. Right now. <laughs> don't, don't, don't slow down, don't said slow Phil down. Knight. Um, but listeners, thanks for being here. Thanks for um, listening all of last year. I almost said rocking with us, but that's kind of Nick's thing. So I don't want to. I don't want to take his words. <laughs> don't want to steal it. Um, I don't want to steal it. But uh, we really appreciate you being here. Um, looking forward to 2023. Hope to have more community stuff again. We kind of got away from that. So our listeners hope to get some more of you on the show. Maybe in like a community forum type situation. Uh, more interviews. Um, obviously more of Mike's beautiful face. That's None of that is changing. Um, <laughs> we have the Patreon. We have the Discord. We're on YouTube. We're everywhere but in your parents' bedroom underneath the bed. So... Uh, Find us, seek us. We're out there. We could be. Um, they forgot to. They forgot to to unlock the door. I couldn't get out. Um, but uh, we'll be around if you're here to be here with us. So uh, don't be a stranger. Say hello. Make sure you're following at Sneaker History. You can find me at R A H B E E seven hundred two. Mike, you're doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, what we're going to find you? I'm, I'm tired already. Uh, of course, you can find me here on Sneaker History with you guys. Also, find me on Instagram and Twitter at MadWatcher789. You can find me on YouTube at Mike Guillory doing sneaker reviews. And I just started, well, I guess by the time you guys hear this, I would have just started my weekly sneaker news video as well. Coffee time kicks. So just we're just trying to make it here in 2023, man. Just trying to do the most we can. It's out here changing diapers, feeding babies. Bop, 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 you know, everything. <laughs> the way you roll making babies in 2023 i don't no, know man, no man uh, no 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 that will not be <laughs> the factory shut down we said no no <laughs> cheers to you and r.i.p to the little swimmers all right everybody have a great episode have a great day and peace see you. <laughs>